Follow Helen Paul and I, Frank Donga. Do you know that Nigeria is the third largest producer of ginger in the world? Maybe that's why we have this ginger torch. Ginger, oh, ginger. And time's up. As we uncover the untold stories of food heroes on the front lines. If I have money, I will maximize this place. I have the capacity to plant 500 hectares a year. Parasites is the major problem also in farming. Connecting them to untapped opportunities and the experts who can solve their problems. You can't plant the same time somebody can plant. Ah. We have to follow the Nanit report to know when the rainfall and you know, the price is up. So that is the challenge. If tomato touches the water, then it starts rotting. Tomato should not touch the water. This is Farm and Fortune. If I have money, I will maximize this place. All the industries you see today, oil palm alone can give you 17 industries. 17 industries. industries. Rule five lines to form a table. One for dates, description, cash in, cash out, and balance. Another way you can care for your soil is to reduce the use of pesticides. Three, two, one. Your time is up. Your time is up. Time is up. Hello everyone, it's Farm and Fortune. My name is Ellen Paul. And I'm Frank Donga. Excuse me, wait. Come, I was sending you a WhatsApp message and I saw welcome as the CEO of Frank Donga and Farm Limited. I'm like, Oga. Oh, you know, because I want to go into oil farm plantation now and change my bio to CEO Donga Farm and Enterprise and Limited PLC. Because everyone is forming CEO now, I don't understand. How? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has a company to manage. Yeah. You know, you're managing just how many plants, Leave crops like in that. your house. You're saying you're not allowed them, not allowed them. Sorry, mm. sorry. Don't forget, it's Farm and Fortune, and we're ready to educate you, inform you, entertain you with Farm and Fortune. Welcome to today's show. Our special guest for this episode is the managing director of Okitipupa. Oil Palm PLC in Ondo State. The company is responsible for oil palm plantations, conservation, processing, harvesting, marketing, everything, even including disposal of the waste from the byproducts or related products. He's no other person but Mr. Taiwo Adewoli. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, Great to have you here. Uh, Way back in the 60s, Nigeria yeah. made a lot from the agricultural sector. Yeah. Uh, cocoa, oil palm and all that. And that's today we're talking about oil palm. Now, uh, some people will argue that maybe Nigeria focused on the wrong oil. You know, oil palm would have been the thing, you know, but then the oil boom came. But right now, is Nigeria reaching its potential in oil palm production in Nigeria? Mm, definitely not. Okay. And I will tell you why. The success of any nation is in, it, in its ability to discover the secret of wealth. The secret of wealth. wealth. Very important. Very, you know, I came across in the Bible way back that there used to be palm cities. Palm cities? Yes. Mm, okay. It's in the Bible. And there is oil from above and there's oil from under the ground. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it in real terms. What can sustain a nation for the long term? And I discovered that the oil from above can sustain. We do that. Above the ground. Yes, above the, above the ground. And that is the oil palm. I know nations that depend on it because that's the foundation, really. All the industries you see today, oil palm alone can give you 17 industries. 17, 17. Industries. industries. Different industries. And Nigeria and is not maximizing that. Definitely it. not. And there's no part, there's no waste in oil palm. Mm. There's no waste. There's no part of it that is a waste. A product mm -hmm. that can give you as much as $20 billion. Okay. Annually. $20 billion. Yes. Oh, wow. Annually. 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 And you are not doing anything about, about it. it. And the, the nation is on a downward trend economically, has nobody to blame but yourself. Hmm. 
Nigeria has hundreds of thousands of arable land. Wow. That will support oil palm That's plantations. Of course. Easily. Our vegetation tells that story. We have forests all over the place. If you are traveling from Lagos to Ibadan, you see a lot of forests. Mm -hmm. You see the water line. Mm -hmm. Those are the two critical things that um, oil palm will require. Access to water, clean water. And we have it naturally. And we have it naturally. But is oil palm business, you know, um, a long, sustainable, um, long-term investment that you can go into? For about 20 years, Ogutuba was mismanaged. Mismanagement? Yes, mm -hmm. was mismanaged. And the company is still surviving. On oil palm proceeds? On oil yes, palm. yes. What did you do differently, sir? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because one, the integrity of the leadership is key. And then the, the determination uh, to see the company come back because um, accountability was not existent. So accounting for what is generated was, was a problem. But with the oil palms themselves, what did you do that made you, Was it that the production was poor before? And what no, did you do? No, the make mismanagement it? of the production process. Okay. General. You know, you know? Production process. Yeah, um, the palms will continue to produce on its fruits. Own. On its own. Okay. As long as there is water, and okay, so we got that. Uh, all the illegals that were in the plantations, mm -hmm. we took them out. When you say illegals, what do you mean? People. People are investing the fruit illegally. illegally. Okay. Because they've taken the ownership away from the from the company. The management was not doing what is right. So everybody was just on their own. Okay. It was like a jungle. Is that a common problem in oil palm business? It's where a common problem. People come out to steal. Yeah, it's a common problem. Okay, so farmers need to and be so, aware of that. So they need to be aware. That's mm -hmm. number one. Number two is that if you don't maintain the plantation, it will become overgrown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Accessibility will become difficult. Mm -hmm. In the oil palm, you make money at least every three, three weeks. Good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Every three weeks you can harvest. You can harvest. So the, the, pram, the trees fruit all year round. All year round. So it's a matter of looking at which one is mature. Yeah, you, you, will, you will see it is it's, it's visible. And then harvest. And harvest. If you, if you know the quantity of oil they, they import, mm. I'm sure it doesn't make any economic sense today for anybody who is buying dollars almost 600 naira. Because we have it here too. Because we have it. It's something you can produce locally. Exactly. So right now, before we go on a short break, the most demand for palm oil in Nigeria, is yeah. it local consumption or is there opportunity for exports? Maybe in the there is opp future. There is There's opportunity. The mongoose opportunity for export. However, the local demand is not even enough. Enough for us. The industries, our that. industries, the, the soap producing industries, the food processing industries, they need it. Hmm. Not to even talk about the fact that people consume it. The, 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 I'm sure the percentage of uh, uh, that people consume straight away is about fifty percent of what is produced. Okay. Fifty so, percent. Yeah. Wow. So you discover that um, the industries that require those products don't even have enough. Thank you very much, Mr. Taiwa Dewale. But we have a friend farmer of ours, Chief Adejo in Ondo State, who has grown his farm from about two to over 200 in just 25 years. So we'll now go over, we'll take a short break and see what Mr. Adejo is doing on his farm and what he has to tell us. But don't forget, you can always go to the App Store to learn more by downloading the Udongo app. That's gonna help you a lot in everything you are doing. Let's take a short break now. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. When you choose to play on the fields of the Asian Agrarian Marketplace, consider a good coach to take along with you. The Udongo app is your gateway to the Nigerian agricultural ecosystem. Whether you are a newbie or an oldie, signing up instantly connects you with a community of other farmers, products, agents, distributors and resources all in one place. Access our unique and simple interface from the bustling big cities to the most remote regions across Nigeria. Enjoy full access to real-time farming solutions that help you make timely and profitable decisions. Or allow our one-on-one -on -one consultancy services cheer you on with each move you make. As a newbie or oldie looking to make a big agricultural footprint, feel secure knowing you have the best coach always in your pocket. 
or don't go app is your personalized farming coach available to you every time anywhere just at the click of a button download the udongo app from the google play store now and enjoy new opportunities let me tell you a few good story of a farmer who started a farm to build a legacy 25 years later he has acquired over 200 hectares and has a thriving oil farm business quite the growth story but is chief are they just satisfied no in fact for me to be able to bear at good profit level, I should have minimum of a thousand hectares. I should have up to a thousand hectares. And that is our dream. As you see where we are sitting now, this is the second, in fact, the third mill that is standing now. We were upgrading them as our plantation was maturing. Um, but now, what we have here can take us 10 tons per hour. When a business grows to a size this impressive, you slow down on growth and focus on maximizing your returns. But what if your returns are not the highest possible? If I have money, I will maximize this place. I have the capacity to plant 500 hectares a year. If I have the money. The money to buy the seedling. A seedling will cost about 1,600 Naira as at yesterday's price. To plant 500 hectares, we need 71,500 seedlings. Multiply by 1,600 Naira. To clear one hectare here, we cost you about 350,000 Naira. You want to clear 500 hectares. Quote what I am saying. Look for it. It's true. Anything you want to do in palm plantation goes with finance. Our problem in Nigeria is that the present policies on lending does not take care of ecological lending. They do not believe that a farmer can take money to go and, palm, to go and plant palm to plant cassava, to plant some. They don't believe. Because if it fails, who will pay? They don't, want, they don't want to take that risk. And the government is not taking the risk. So who is going to give us money? Nobody. And when we say loan, look, if I put, if I have 500 hectares today, in four years' time, or five years' time, it start producing commercially. We'll be generating minimum of our 600 million euros. So, it's a matter of myopicness, lack of knowledge of this thing, and that is what is killing us in Nigeria. To actualize the farm of his dreams, Chief Adejo must sustain and scale the business he has worked so hard. Wow. Did you mm -hmm. see how far Mr. Adejo has, uh, Chief Adejo has gone in this, in this Very business? Very big. Did you see how clean Everywhere that is. plantation was? Mm -hmm. It looks well managed. Well managed. Well managed. But, uh, you know, he, I, I wonder if he's, you know, there's any other thing he can do to hit the maximum potential of his business. Is there anything he's doing wrong or is there anything he can do to improve capacity? I'm sure you saw what the place looks like, mm -hmm. the plantation. That is how a well-managed plantation should look like. Hey, but I'm, I'm still surprised because the man is still saying he needs more space, he wants to go bigger again. Is that one not big enough? More money? It's, it's not big enough. Eh? Eh. He has potential for growth. Hmm. So the bigger the plantation, the bigger the money. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> money. The, how do you want to limit yourself? I mean, it's a land of great possibilities. Wealth is creating wealth. Unemployment. Unemployment. Do you think we should have that kind of plantation in every state in Nigeria? Absolutely. On those states, governor declared a red gold. Okay. Of 100,000 hectares of oil palm. Because he knows... The business. The, he knows the benefits. Mm. He knows he can take a lot of use out of unemployment. He can create a huge amount of... IGR for the state. Talking so, about finance and funding, 
Is there any channel or mechanism available where uh, people watching us from home can plug into to get funding or advice or training? I'm not sure. You see, um, in some of my writings in the national newspapers, okay. I had actually advocated that Nigeria should have an oil palm council. And an oil palm, palm council? Yes. Like a body? A body. Mm -hmm. And have an oil palm fund. Okay. To promote access to um, single digit funding for farmers. Okay. They are the want to help Nigeria move away from unemployment, this massive unemployment, and create wealth for majority of people on the large scale. I'll give you an example. Yes. Part of what I've done in Okitikokwa is to create about, last year, about 200 millionaires. Single-handedly yeah. as a position. With, with more than 5,000 workers. Because, mm. yeah, they're working on our plantations and they're generating a lot of wealth mm. from it somewhere that has been termed to be dead. Yeah. And so, it's, that's why Okutubwa is in the news. Back to so back. Much, yeah, today. Because this is an avenue that government can use to address this unemployment, unemployment that is becoming a, 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 a source of crime. Hmm. Yeah. Because the devil will give a person when they get work. He will give them work now. So what do you talk now, BC? Make okay. government not just they look oil, yeah, oil, oil. Yes. Our own palm oil. Palm oil. Let them, them go business. there. Let That's them go right. and open so up the forest. We focus less on and the oil business. Yes. And yes. concentrate yeah, on the oil. Yeah, Abba. Abba. They look the one way we they see now. Thank hey, you very much. Thank sir. you so much, <laughs> sir. <laughs> ah, she has been yeah, eye opening. Yeah. Oil so single added in now with that Ogi de Pupa, you don't give people millions of money. The Our 200 and something contractors are. Farmers who are contractors in the farm will not, you know, not carrying uh, paper up and down. No. Wow, thank uh, you. They don't tell me before, say, now nah, oil company I go work last, last. Now, nah, be this. Me, ma, I don't the oil company. Now, nah, I come for you now. Not ordinary oil. They call it there, everybody. Yeah, the yeah. oil above. The oil above. Oil above. That's right. Thank, above. thank you so much thank for you, coming. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've had Mr. Taiwade Wale yeah. from Okitipupa uh, Oil Palm PLC in Ondo State. He's yeah. been talking to us about how to invest, uh, how to, where to look at, and the challenges yeah. in the oil palm plantation uh, industry or sector. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that as we did here, we all did our head. All did your head too. Yes, so. You know what to do. And if you want to talk to us, what do they do, Helen? You go straight to our, uh, don't go, you don't go up. Yes, you don't go up. No. Yes, you well, don't go up. Go they are downloading, you don't go up. You know what to do on the app store already. All right, to keep the conversation <laughs> going on yeah. Farm and Fortune, follow us on every social media platform. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, at Farm and, and Fortune. Fortune. Sir, thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much, sir. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Welcome to the Farm and Fortune DIY hack. Here's a way you can keep records in your small farm or business. Keep a notebook, especially for your cash book. Rule five lines to form a table. One for dates, description, cash in, cash out, and balance. Recall the inflow and outflow of cash from the business with the corresponding date and description. And just like that, you are the accountant. Keep watching, there's more to come on the show. To help us get the best from our soil, we have a soil expert in the house in person of Miss Aberi Chuko. Good to have you today. Yeah. I have a question for you. How do we care for our soil? The importance of soil cannot be overemphasized in agriculture because soil is the bedrock of agriculture. Mm. If you want to be a successful farmer, if you want to have a bumper harvest, you must, I mean, like it's underlined, you must care for your soil in these following ways. You must pamper the soil. In these following ways I'm about to mention. Number one. First, you must reduce invasion tillage okay. or what we call soil traffic. 
one may ask, what is soil traffic? Yes. Soil traffic simply means soil compaction. And when this occurs, there is reduced volume in available, for available air and water in the soil. Okay. In addition to it, the tillage in now, because harmful, excessive tillage in the soil harms the soil. Mm. Excessive tillage. tillage That's yeah. why we soil scientists, we are advocating for zero tillage or no tillage. Even if you must till, it must be on a minimum. Mm. Then the second one is you should increase the organic matter input in your soil. What are these organic, organic matter inputs? We have the plant leaves. We have the plant tillers. We have the plant roots. We have the mulching. Mm -hmm. Then coming to uh, the animal manure. We have animal dungs, that's cattle dungs now, okay. the chicken dungs, and then finally the straw. Then another way you can care for your soil also is to practice what we call cover cropping. Co cover cover cropping. cropping. Okay. You should also practice what we call crop rotation in terms of the overuse of your soil. You should not like plant maize the air today, plant rice today. You know, you should practice back what you think. Mm. You should practice what we call crop rotation. Then another way you can care for your soil is to reduce the use of pesticides. Because when, when it's too much. Thank you. You should reduce the use of pesticides on your soil. And also provides habitat for beneficial organisms because wow. soil are living organisms. Wow. There are living organisms in the soil. So you should provide a beneficial as in habitat for those beneficial organisms. Then the last but not the least is soil testing. Okay, you should always test your soil. Carry out soil testing. Hmm. I repeat again, soil testing. testing is very important for you to be successful, for you to have a knowledge of your soil, for you to venture into any crop production. You have to have the knowledge of your soil. And you can only do this by carrying out this soil testing. Hmm. Test, your, test your soil based on the crop you want to grow. Because for instance, take for instance maize, there are some soil that maize cannot strive on. So that's why you need to test that soil to know whether if I should plant this maize here, will, it, will, will I have a maximum production? So the soil testing is very important. In fact, it's one of the key stands, it's one of the key important functions in Nigerian Institute of Soil Science. We strongly advise farmers to, to test, test their soil. soil before venturing into crop but production. How often, how often do you think we can be doing this on our soil? Well, using the soil testing like um, using the soil, carrying out soil testing for the commercial farmers, they should be able to test, carry out soil testing annually. Then it's different for the smallholders farmers. You know, smallholders farmers should be able to carry out soil testing on their soil at least once in two years. Thank you so much, Mr. Berry Chukwu. It's still Farm and Fortune, and right now we're going into the game segment with Mr. Frank Dongan. All right, it's time for us to get ready to see the fastest fingers and the sharpest minds in the game. Enjoy. And it's game time on Farm and Fortune, where 16 farmers are going to compete for a grand prize of half a million naira, that's 500,000 naira worth of farming fields. The 16 farmers are gonna compete in three knockout stages and the grand finale where the winner will emerge. And right now, we have two farmers on this episode who are going to compete. You know, the drill is simple. The game is very interesting and the rules are simple. For now, all they have to do is play this game of Jenga. And the instruction is very easy. You are supposed to just pick the brown, the black pieces without touching the brown pieces. If it crashes, you are out of the game. I'll repeat that. All they have to do is pick the black pieces away from this setup without touching any part of the brown pieces. If you touch it, you are disqualified. If it crashes, you are disqualified. With me to play this game, I have two fantastic gentlemen. To my immediate left, I have Mr. Olayemi Lukman, who is a big Farm has been into pig grip for 10 years. Am I right, Mr. Lukman? Yeah, yeah. How's it going in the pig grip business? It's going good. Fantastic. Going good, yeah. Fantastic. And on my immediate right, I have Mr. Afis Said, who is a poultry farmer, right? Yes, sir. And he's been into poultry farming for about two, two years. Yeah. There about. How's it going in the poultry business? Thank God. So may I ask you two gentlemen, why did you decide to go into pig grip farming? It's lucrative. That's why I like it. 
It's so lucrative. Almost, That's why you like it. Yeah. Beautiful. And you, yeah. why poultry? Why not people like him? Uh, poultry, I love birds. You love birds? Yeah. I believe I can fly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, may the best man win. You remember what is at stake here is 500,000 Ara water farming fields. I'm sure you're excited to play this game. Are you yeah. ready? Yeah. All you have is 90 seconds. Remember the rules. Don't touch any brown piece. You can only remove as many pieces of the black as you can. If it crashes, you're out. You touch the brown piece, you're out. All right? No. Let's go. In three, two, one, action. Gentlemen, our two farmers are here competing for a chance to win half a million naira worth of farming fruits on the Farm and Fortune Game Time. And to my immediate left, we had Mr. Olayemi, and he was able to pick three pieces. One, two, and three pieces. And to my immediate right, Mr. Afiz was able to pick one, Two, three, and four. So we have a clear winner. Congratulations, Mr. Afiz. Thank you, sir. So you move to the next segment of the competition where you compete with other farmers for a chance to win half a million naira worth of farm impute. But on this show, everyone is a winner, including you while watching at home. All you have to do is connect with us, give us your feedback, let us know what you're working on, Follow us on our social media handles at Farm and Fortune on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. Let's see what you are up to. Everyone is a winner. We'll continue this next week. Frank, mm. I'm looking for a long-time investor. You know, that will just drop the money, bing, mm. for me like this. And will give me a long time before I can start giving them their gift. And yeah, that's not a problem. If you're looking for an investor, you know what to do. You have to rewatch all the episodes of Farm and Fortune, including the one from today, you know? And you know what to watch them on social media. Our social media handle. Tell that's them. True. Tell that's true. That's true. To keep the conversation going all the time, learning about agricultural business and the sector in general. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. At Fan and Fortune. My name remains Helen Paul. And I am Frank Donga. See, See you, you next week. week.